Hey guys, welcome to Gods Unchained with the Professor and Fake Muse. We're back with musings on May 25th. How are you doing today, Fake Muse? I'm doing good. How are you doing today, Professor? I'm doing all right. Um, it's been a good week for me in terms of uh, Gods Unchained playtime. Um, I ended up de-ranking over the weekend and just went to my usual deck to climb out of um, Diamond and... It, I noticed it was winning, so I just stuck with it through Mythic. And um, the last few days, I think I went 18 and 2 with it. So, earning those worthless gods. I think it's currently at 16 cents. <laughs> Not worthless. They haven't gone to zero yet. So, okay. that's that's the good news. Not financial advice. Yeah, yeah. Not yet. Emphasize on the yet, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yes, um, yes. That's, that, 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 that's what I brought up. <laughs> Yeah. So speaking of a weekend rank, um, I think I had like a, a nine win weekend rank last uh, last this past weekend. That's why I got deranked. But um, did did make up for it this week. Um, how was your weekend ranked, Fake Muse? Ended up with twelve. I played seven different decks, so I don't have a deck. But we ended up with twelve somehow. Every time a deck lost, we benched it. So yeah, nice. we're very loyal. Um, my plan for this week, by the way, is going to be different. 18 different decks, win or lose. All right. That's tomorrow. So every single game, you are going to switch to a new deck until you've tried 18 different decks. Yes, I'll play every god exactly three times. Okay. And so our... The last time I tried this experiment, I ended up with six wins which was actually a record for the worst weekend rank by an infinite mana player ever until Clutch beat the record two weeks later by winning five. So oh, he kind of, he kind of, he kind of outshined me, but now I've got to, I've got to one up him again. We're going back to the experiment and see if we can do better than we did last time. So not only do you come second place in tournaments, even trying to be the worst player in your team, someone had to one up you and make you the second worst player. Yes, this is, this is all part of the narrative. I, I thought I could be great or, or terrible at something. I wanted to be special at something. And I think I think right now, if you had a poll for your YouTube comments, the people in the YouTube comments can go ahead and comment here. I think I probably finished second in a likability in your poll out of people in this podcast as well. So it's... It's just a very difficult situation, and on my stream, I'm everyone's second favorite person because Axel appears sometimes on there, and everyone's a big fan of Axel, so it's a, it's just a difficult life. Yeah, at least you're on brand in all aspects of your your career and all your um, endeavors in GU. So at least you're you're consistent. Yeah, that that has to be good somehow. I just need I need to play the World Series of Poker main event and then finish second in that. You know, I think that's like you know six million dollars or something like that. So that that wouldn't be terrible. I probably should enter that endeavor. Enter enter some enter some stuff where getting second isn't a bad result. Yeah, I agree. I think there's some places where coming in second is also winning. So that's a good point. Yeah, I, I know you you do play poker now and then. Um, Actually, speaking of poker, I've been wanting to ask you. I heard there's an underground 8M poker club that H. Payne supposedly cleans up in. Are you? Have you been part of that? Yeah, H. Payne definitely uh, cleans up. Or how, how does he define cleaning up? I think he cleans up by taking the gods in his bank account and cleaning them out of his bank account. <laughs> I think that's 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 his definition of cleaning. So yes, I I am a part of that underground ring, ring and the, the first the first rule about Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight. Oh, oh wait a minute, that's that's a different club. I'm in. <laughs> but yeah, the, the Infinite Mana Discord hang out with us there, and we do have a have a ring where we have poker nights usually around once a month, and nice. that's how that goes. And, and do you guys do uh, a cash game or do you guys do like tournaments? Yeah, traditionally buy-ins 300 gods, and then you can if you bust, you can buy in again for 300 gods. So it's, we don't we don't really do tournaments. It's just a cash game. Um, and then it's a is it a nine nine player limit at the table? 
Yeah, I mean, they might actually limit it at ten. I'm not sure. Usually, usually we're below nine though. Like, okay. Usually we're around seven or eight players, and then people just come in and come out. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. So, um, moving on to the hot topic for this week, um, Gods Unchained finally shared. Well, not finally. They 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 shared another roadmap. So. Have you had a chance to take a look at this roadmap, fake news? Yeah, I've I've looked at it, and there's some interesting points. There's some things to definitely be excited about, and there's some things to kind of, in the back of my head, scratch a little bit. <laughs> right. So let's start with so, um, yeah. Let's start with the highlights here. So, <clears throat> um, they they they. I'm sharing it on the screen right now um, for the video, and we can see that it's promising in Q2 2023 uh, under the category cosmetic sets. There's going to be a new game mode experiments. Not sure why that's cosmetic, but um, the other one is new pack opening experience. And then it moves to uh, Q3 2023, and it says sealed mode. So the category is sealed mode, which is weird because the previous category had new game mode and now we have an official one that says sealed mode and in under sealed mode we have a content creator program and god staking dashboard so i'm a little confused there because I, I wouldn't categorize those under sealed mode usually and then it goes on to q4 2023 closing out the year it says season two the the category is season two and the items under season two and q4 of this year will be a mobile soft launch of the game server logic rewrite and then a new major expansion and then q1 2024 sort of blurred out so let's start with um the first one fake news new game mode experiments what what, what is that what are you interpreting from that so basically what i've heard from other people is that they potentially are going to have new game modes that can limit sets, for instance. Like, for if you wanted to run a tournament, hypothetically, and you wanted to be like, no Genesis cards allowed, well, maybe there could be a game mode for that. And that would, that would be good for tournament organization, because then it's just like, yeah, just everyone plays in the game mode, and we don't have to worry about checking for legal decks or anything like that if everyone's just playing in the correct game mode then there are no problems well so that it, to me is yep. interesting well if, if the potentially if, or yeah. it's intentionally vague right so if it sounds like that the gu game system might be the one that's going to help simplify tournaments by allowing these game modes to be um you know filter out the proper rule set then I guess I ask you, take fake news, as someone that's organized tournaments before, how are you going to justify earning 10,000 gods going forward? Yeah, that's going to be difficult. <laughs> just joking. Sure. You, know, you don't have to answer that. Um, well, I mean, when you, when, you, when you look at it, he's not the first person to have the biggest win. Not the first host to be the biggest winner in their in, in their hosted tournament this year. Yeah, you, you you were the first one to do that, winning your own tournaments. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I I didn't I didn't just win my own tournament. I also won the prediction bracket of my own tournament and kept the prediction <laughs> bracket prize. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely some shady stuff going on in the crypto world here. So yeah, I'm interpreting the game modes as. Um, Kind of, I don't know if you remember this. It was probably maybe a few months ago where they would tell us, okay, for this week, play decks that contain X, Y, Z cards. So what do you think? Do you think that, that falls under that? Yeah, there could be some game modes, maybe some alternative ladder situations where you mm -hmm. can queue into people in ladder okay. where maybe, hey, you can't play Band of the Wolf and Divine Order or just weird combinations. The only thing that would I would be worried about that is without increasing our player base, queue times are already long enough. If we're going to divide the player base into 
all these different game modes, imagine trying to queue into anything. It's going to just make queue times even longer. So that's the only kind of reservation I have about this stuff. But for a direct challenge perspective, I think it's very good to have that in the client. For a tournament organization standpoint, at least, because it, it makes it a whole lot easier if you just tell everyone, hey, you play in this direct challenge code, and then if if they if they don't enter if if both sides intentionally choose the wrong game mode, then you can't really complain about people running illegal cards because you screwed up yourself. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, definitely great uh, perspective on on the potential use of game modes, and you are correct picking up on how queue times have increased now. Um, but you know, we'll, we don't need to go into that. But definitely, queue times have. I've noticed that as well. I'm sure others as well. Uh, new pack opening experience. Um, it looks like it's just, so to me, it looks like it's just a way to select which packs you want to open. Um, for those that played Hearthstone, there's a little slider bar on the left side of the screen when you try to open packs and you could physically choose which packs to open in order. Is that, is that how you're taking this as well? I'm not super huge into these cosmetic stuff. Yeah. Typically, I'm in a situation when, when I see pack, I open pack. Yeah. I don't really feel the need for complicated ordering situations. Yeah. But maybe other people do. It's This this update isn't for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you with that as well. I actually um, skip animations and reveal all as fast as I can. Um, even when I bought my Band of the Wolf, I, I believe I just... Open all. I pressed the open all packs button and just went into my collection and just looked at it that way. So I, I think. Yeah, I actually like that recent update to reveal all cards. That saves me a lot of clicking, especially when I'm going through those core packs. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. All right. So next we have um, <clears throat> sealed mode coming out. That's probably going to fold into this new game mode experiment. So let's wait till it actually comes out and we could talk about that more. Uh, next, I, uh, so for Q3, they're also planning the content creator program. Um, so let me ask you, Fake News, did you get an invitation or did you apply for it? Yeah, I got an invitation. I had clips in my DMs. I still need to respond to that. But basically, I, I saw kind of a breakdown of the entire program, and it, it seemed very interesting in terms of what you could potentially get paid and as of right now, there's one person in the community, one person in our entire community, that's Copper Pitch, who would qualify for the bottom tier of their content creation program. And he could potentially earn upwards, and this is just an estimation, I haven't run the numbers yet, I think he can earn upwards of $1 an hour creating content with this program. So he may or may not be quitting his day job on this. I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Slide into Copper's DMs. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear from you. Yeah, congratulations on getting invited on that. Um, sounds like you already did the math. Um, I think getting that $1 an hour might be helpful for Copper Pitch. It probably help offset some of the uh, diaper cost that he's been um, focusing his crypto crypto earnings on. So every little every little bit helps. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Gotta gotta do whatever you can. You're gonna pay. He's gonna pay for college one God's Unchained video at a time. <laughs> yep. Uh, he better start making more videos. All right. So next, they have a talk, they're talking about the God Staking dashboard. I think whatever they have for this, um, I'm all for it. Right now, God Staking is a mess. Um, you have to go to like their website and click claim and whatever, whatever. Most of the time I forget to do that, so I don't, and then I actually don't even know if staking is going on or not. Uh, do, do you follow their god staking? Yeah, I try, to, I try to spin my gods as quickly as I can get a hold of it. Basically, my entire gods stash is just used for gambling at the moment in the infinite mana discord. Poker, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, okay. it's a game of skill. Yeah, lots of skill. Lots for sure. Of skill. <laughs> All right, next yeah, we yeah, have yeah. Uh, the mobile soft launch. Um, and I, I don't think you tried the mobile app, right, Fake Muse? Yeah, for people who have iPhones, they we were banned. Yeah. So I was unable to attempt to uh, try it mobile. Okay, but now I think they're saying they're on track to do a soft launch of iOS later this year. So 
you will finally get to play a uh, 45 minute game uh, on your phone and then look for a uh, charging station soon after. Yes, I, I'm looking forward to trying to get the clicks in on Bitter Endings Death <laughs> yeah. on mobile. I think that's going to be really, really fun because I, I struggle enough with the rope playing that deck as it is. Yep, yep. Uh, next item is a server logic rewrite. This one actually was a little bit technical for me, but it actually had me worried because it was talking about rewriting logic, which I've, you know, and then technical upgrades, and it talked about games infrastructure. Uh, so I got a little worried about this. That made me feel like that the current system is, you know, held up with just Band-Aid and like they really needed to go down this route and redo everything, which felt like back to square one. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not technical enough to know the details and they didn't really go into specifics. But I, I mean, I'm glad that they shared it, but I'm just, it made me wonder on the current state of the infrastructure, I guess, of, of the game. Yeah, I don't know details yeah. behind that. I don't know the stuff, but if it helps them, gives them more flexibility to do things, like, for instance, when we first started to play the game, we, I think we came in pretty close time frame. They used to change up the Sanctum. Yes. Remember, we had our good old friend Juggernaut back in the day, and from what I've heard... It's difficult or it's, it's like nearly impossible for them to mix it up now because of the way they have things set up. I would think that rotating the Sanctum more often or actually rotating it at all would be a way that they can keep the game more fresh without releasing more content. Because we see in the Season 2, your next point on the on the list, a new major expansion, Quarter 4, quarter four 23. Yep. That's going to be, let's be generous and call that November of 2023, which, let's be realistic, that's very, very generous. We're talking a year and a half with Mortal Judgments been out. So if you could have had something like a Sanctum refresh ready to go, or be, be able to rotate the Sanctum and have different feeling metas going around... That could really help in long lulls like this, where I feel like not much has been changing recently. Yeah, I agree with you. You're you, you definitely sharing some good ideas here. Um, the good news here is, you know, they, they emphasize, they didn't just say new expansion, they said major expansion. So it sounds like um, they've listened to the player base clamoring for a real expansion instead of a mini set. So something to look forward to for the end of the year. But you're right, I mean... You're being generous, November. I actually was thinking more December, um, but we'll see. We'll see when we uh, start hearing more about that. The reason why I went with November is because I know that their entire GU team basically takes the month of oh, December yeah. off. They do. You're yeah. Right. So, so <laughs> I, if, if 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 I was gonna go with December, I I, I don't think that anything comes out in December. It would get pushed back to January or even. Even later, which which might be realistic. Yeah, but I memory. was being optimistic that they could get in there in the front yeah. end. Yeah, no, that's a good memory. Uh, you're right. They do go on their holiday for a couple of weeks, two to three weeks or so in December. Um, a couple of Discord announcements. There was uh, a acknowledgement of how the card economy and gods were tanking. Um, I found it interesting that the post called out uh, the, the tanking of card market due to liquidations by, you know, air quotes, whales, so they could buy meme coins. I, I felt like that that was, I, I, I don't know if I could really point to that, but that was what they told us. So I, I was a little bit um, puzzled by that, that that was the reason. I mean, people are going to liquidate for whatever reasons they want to. It doesn't really matter. The fact is, if they thought that holding was a good investment, they would be holding. So they just yeah. were looking an excuse to get out or or do something felt else. like yeah. they thought that Pepe coin was going moon or whatever <laughs> the next meme coin of the day is going to be. Yeah, no, actually, you're right. Good point. If, if they thought it was a better investment, they would have just held. Uh, so part of that announcement, they talked about having six core developers. Um, I, I asked around and I, I 
haven't found anyone that could tell me who the six are if if they're six from the previous regime or if they're a mix of new and old or if they're just all new i have no idea who the six are i'm guessing i am brin is one of them because he's the balance guy but other than that i don't know who the core developers are do, do you have any insight on that i have no idea what's going on with gu staffing at any time it feels like it changes every single day <laughs> all right um, and then we talked about this a little bit. Uh, there was a promise to push more marketing and content program going forward. I think we talked about that content creator program as part of that. So, you know, we are all resting on Copper Pitch's shoulder to push us through and carry us and, and earn that bottom tier of God's earning um, so he, he could buy some diapers for his baby. I mean, hypo <laughs> hypothetically, their, co their content program is very optimistic. If we can get to those big numbers, that would mean the game is booming. So yeah. who, who knows? Maybe one day one of us can be a tier five content creator. Yeah. Instead of one of us, how about both of us, you and me? Let's oh, yeah. Think. We're 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 going to the moon here. Yeah. Let's think positive. <laughs> All right. We need 10,000 subscribers. I'm only 9,500 short. We're rolling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds like you're almost there. <laughs> right. Yeah, just 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 barely barely not there at the moment. You're, you're you're I think you're one viral TikTok or short YouTube video away, fake news, and and you know maybe it, it's time to bring back the hot tub stream. <laughs> yeah, we got get, gotta get back to the hot tub meta for sure. Yeah, uh, another. It is that season. It's, it's it is. You're right. It is summer season. So. Yeah, we need we need some like G U whale to get. To, to, to send me a lot of money and tell me to run a hot tub tournament. Yeah, where have the whales gone? They they must have liquidated. Yeah, they're, they're, I I think when I think when the ocean lost all of its water, the whales just kind of died. Oh, that, that, that's kind of that's kind of what happens. Blame global warming or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so another announcement was that free forging event, crafting those legendaries. I I don't even know if people are still doing this, but it ends soon today uh, uh, so yeah that it, it would have ended after this video was yeah. made yeah it's, it's already done <laughs> yeah so yeah so for those listening uh if you're trying to craft for those legendaries don't do it it's done well i mean you, you can if you if you want it but it's not free anymore well, it, gonna, right, no, right now right now you Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. So if I craft yeah. five bitter endings at when this video is released, I'm not getting anything. I'm just going to get a shinier version of bitter endings, but nothing else, right? Yeah, yeah, you'll get yeah. a shadow bitter endings, and, and then you'll it. be very sad that you're not getting a, a legendary. Exactly. Yeah, that is, that is true. So there's, there's no reason to forge those anymore. I guess if you... I, I, I didn't have enough cards to forge i never bought cards yeah because i i didn't figure out the whole vpn thing until it was too late so yeah. i know for next time right right but i think you also told me you end up saving quite a, a good amount of money just buying from the secondary market so i think it worked out for yes you. yes this it, it worked out for me i got some i did get some extra cards some card packs via weekend ranked uh, those pack openings were pretty disappointing so at least I didn't have to pay for them. Yeah, that's the that's the that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, free is free. Can't complain. Uh, the other announcement I wanted to talk about was they they talked about how there's an exploit going around with Drolomar, and if you are caught doing it, you will get uh, penalized. Um, so for those that don't know about the Drolomar exploit, uh, so everyone knows the Drolomar combo. So the Drolomar combo is you reduce. The legendary magic card Dralamar. You play that. It then has an effect that refreshes your mana when you play a spell. So you you, you combine Dralamar with a Aether Bug and spells, and you basically loop those spells over and over, uh, which usually is magic inks, and then you just ping your opponent down to zero using the bug's effect. Now the exploit is you play the Dralamar combo without the bug, but with just magic inks. And you. so all, all you're doing is playing magic inks, 
gaining mana back, copying magic inks, playing it again over and over. And so the the exploit there is you are just queuing up so many animation of you playing magic inks that it eats up your opponent's turn. So you basically pass the turn over to your opponent. All they see on their screen is you playing magic inks. Next thing they know, their their turn is over and it's back to you. And at that point you draw a card. You can then you know get a burn spell or play a creature, attack attack them directly, and then continue the draw Lamar magic ink loop to skip their turn again, and so on and so on. Uh, did I explain that right, Fake Muse? Yes. And if you do that, you have way too much time on time on your hands and you need to get a life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're squeaking out wins here and there at a cost of, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes. Um, <laughs> no, no, that would take way longer. Because way longer. You, you've got to, you got to, yeah, you got to cycle those inks for probably about five minutes a turn or something ridiculous like that to, to uh, get your opponent to rope out completely. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I think there's actually a way for the opponent to fight back. If they disconnect and reconnect their internet, then it doesn't go through all those animations. So if you're facing that and someone's doing that, that's a strategy. If you can think you time when they're done with their animations, you can kind of get away with that. So, oh, so I've heard. I haven't actually done it myself. Yeah, so I guess the theory with that is you re disconnect, and when you reconnect, it, it the game just catches you up to your to whatever it is and skips all the animations. I, I can see that working. Yeah, correct. Okay, all right. Well, thanks for that tip. Um, but you again, have to time it perfectly, and you uh, you don't know when they're going to stop playing their spells, so it's, it's okay. tricky. Well, well, you said five minutes, so I would probably just do a five-minute timer and disconnect. I'm just joking. Yeah, the, the <laughs> other the other thing you can do is you can just go to the restroom, <laughs> go to go pick up some go to Wendy's. go to chick yeah 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 go go to Wendy's get get some food come back and then see if your opponent still has a life or not and yeah who who knows maybe, maybe the game will end eventually or not it, it, there's similar similar situation could occur with the Light Relic Aegis, the one that heals you for one point of damage every time you take damage, and the Aether Bugs, which just ding you one point of damage at a time. <clears throat> that was just an infinite draw, because you you don't actually deal any damage with the Aether Bugs. So, a similar situation could occur there. Yeah. Well, I mean, for sure, the Dralamar was called out as something that is an exploit, so don't do it. Besides you wasting your time and fake news going to say you don't have a life, uh, you could end up getting your GU account um, banned or penalized or something. So, And it's also a bad sport, I think, right? I mean, technically, you know, in a card game, each player gets a turn. So knowingly skipping your opponent's turn when that's not within the rules of the game is a, uh, is it's not really the uh, best sportsmanship there. Um, coming up for weekend rank. So you talked about your your 18 different decks for games. Um, how how are you going to choose your first your 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 lead off hitter there? Big news. Do you want me to play first? Oh, okay. Um, I am going. You, you just tell me. All right, I am going to choose. Bitter Endings. Okay, we're leading off with Bitter Endings then. All right. Yeah, so lead off with Bitter Endings because we don't know when that's going to get nerfed. So play that as soon as you can, Fake Muse, and uh, you'll probably win. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then from there, you can go to... Um, I'm guessing your other death decks are probably going to be Zombie Control and then the other one probably Anubians. Something like that. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, so definitely tune in. That's going to be on Friday, right? Yeah, that should be that should be on Friday. We don't have any roof people coming, and I have a chess tournament this Saturday, so okay. we should not be moving the weekend rank to Saturday. Nice. All right. Yeah. So we'll be catching Fake News live on the stream, doing his 18 different decks for the weekend rank. Uh, I don't think anyone's done that before, so that'll be very unique and fun to watch. Uh, in terms of events, what? Fake News. I don't. Oh, sorry. Were you saying something? You've done it before. But got six wins. Yeah, yeah, I've done it before, but it, I, I got six wins. Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna try to do better. Try just trying to do better. Nice. Uh, in terms of events, I don't think there's any current 
tournaments going on. I could be wrong, but I think uh, shout out to Meepo or Meppo uh, for winning the the just ended Lysander's main event. So congratulations to Meppo. Uh, do you know of any tournaments going on right now, Fake News? The X board one's in progress, but you can't enter it any anymore. That's every Wednesday. Uh, but that's like the only thing I can think of. It's uh, definitely a a dry spell for tournaments. I know the GOAT team, they have a monthly tournament as well, but yes. they just had, had it last week. So, I mean, we're probably four weeks away from their next tournament. Yeah, there's not much going on at the moment in terms of tournaments. Are you which, the, um, by the way, if we if we if we can get a big sponsor for a hot tub tournament, just saying. Uh, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect know, opportunity. Toss out hints. Perfect opportunity for that. Um, are you in the X Bar tournament? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, well, I'm actually eliminated now, but it, uh. <laughs> it, it, it's it's rough. See, 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 playing during your your lunch break at work is not very healthy. And I had I had a forfeit last week. Where uh, I had a I had a work call, so I, I couldn't actually get out of the call, and then yeah, I had to forfeit one of my games. Uh, it, was, it was tough. Yeah, yeah. Too bad you're not like Clutch, who just you heard the story about Clutch, right? Uh, which story about Clutch? He was at work. His boss left for the day. Uh, he shared the story on stream, by the way. His boss left for the day. He is hopping onto GU at, in his boss's office, playing a tournament match against H. Payne. In the middle of the tournament match, his boss comes back because he forgot something. And, you know, he sees clearly, you know, Clutch is, air quotes, working. <laughs> and, you know, they make small talk. And it turns out that the the boss came back to because he forgot to take something out of the back so while clutch is playing he goes oh do you need help with that and the boss says yes and then clutch says well do you mind if i finish this game first <laughs> and then the boss says uh sure <laughs> and so that was that uh so yeah if, if if you have a job like clutch where you basically are the boss even though you don't have the title of the boss then you shouldn't have problems with your tournament matches yeah, I'm not. I'm not as gutsy as Clutch, and I work from home, so it shouldn't be as big of an issue. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. So I saw you just dro dropped the new video. Actually, fitting that it was a bitter endings video, and we decided to choose bitter endings to lead off your Friday stream. Are uh, you working on any other content? No, not really. I I do my weekly game of the week video, and I almost forgot this week, but barely got that in. And then we have the weekly Friday Weekend Ranked, which sometimes is played on Saturday, but won't be this week. Sunday, I, I might be late on Sunday, but it should be still EU friendly. Uh, and uh, yeah, 10, 10 Win Wednesday right. is uh, the other thing. Well, what's the, uh, what, do you have something going on on Sunday that will make you late? Uh, was there like a sporting event you're going to watch or something? I haven't decided if I'm going to go out and... Do Pokemon Go stuff oh. on Sunday? Is there a big event? For and that? The, 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 well, the thing is, is if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do do much, they're gonna have Shadow Mewtwo's, and I'm not gonna have a chance to catch any on Saturday. Oh. And I don't really want to go out midday on Sunday because Alabama heat is real. Uh, so you, the best time to go out anywhere is in the morning, which just ha happens to be when I stream. So I was thinking about moving my stream to accommodate that, but we'll see. Okay, okay. Um, what, what's what's the uh, temperature yeah. right now for the Alabama heat? What are we talking about? Yeah, mid eighties. Okay. But yeah. A lot of humidity. Okay, I was gonna, yeah, so it's pretty humid as well, probably. Yeah, that's yeah. not fun. All right. Well, whatever you decide, uh, if you decide to get your Shadow Mewtwo's, uh, hopefully you get. As many as you want. Um, I'm sure they'll, they'll prove themselves useful to you. Um, anything else, fake news, before we close out? Nope. Uh, have a good day and roll tide. Roll tide. 
Bye, everyone.